part of the weekend never dies. What is part of the weekend never dies? Uh, it's the name of what you're about to watch. Okay, so what are we about to see? Is it a multimedia visual presentation of too many DJs? A live registration of night versions? A documentary about soul works on the road? What is soul works? Is it the name of a hemp store? <laughs> or a duo of DJs? Oh, the name of a band from Benelux. What's too many DJs then? Oh, those guys with the paper bags. So, uh, what's night versions? Okay, are you ready for this? Cause basically it's all wax remixing the songs of their own album called Any Minute Now. In the vein of Duran Duran's extended night versions. So, what is radio soul wax? Is it like a place to find a boyfriend? Or a radio station that plays Soul Walks 24 hours? Or is it a Soul Walks night where they invite other acts and play themselves? How many cameras have been used to shoot this film? Three? No. <laughs> Two? No. One? Yeah, you got it! Hey, where has this film been shot? In Japan, in Mexico, in the USA, in United Kingdom, in Spain, in Italy, in France, in Brazil, in Dubai, in Argentina, in Australia, in Germany, in New Zealand, in Canada, in Norway, in Luxembourg, in Belgium, in Croatia, in Switzerland, in Austria, in Sweden, in Denmark, in Holland, in Poland, in Portugal. How do they get from one point to the other? Train, bus, plane, motor compo. Blah, 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 blah. Actually, there's a lot of blah blah in this film. <laughs> okay, here I leave you with a movie. Enjoy. See you later. Talk to you later. MySpace me. Bye bye. Au revoir. Explain it to me what you do. Basically anything we like under the name of Solwax or whatever. Oh, come on. First of all, what's the can you tell the audience like what's the difference between too many DJs? Soulworks or Radio Soulworks? That's how simple it is. Soul wax? It's like French Canadian or something. It's like it's like a hemp store or a it's like a place that sells dragon sticks. Uh, okay, so too many DJs are um, Dave, my brother, and me, DJing, and playing other people's music. Solwax is a rock band, which includes my brother Dave again, me, and Steve on drums, and Stefan, our bass player. We're a rock band. Yo, hey, hey. And then Night Versions is Solwax remixing itself and playing the remixes live. And then we thought, hey, what if okay. we do everything together and we do one night called Radio Solwax? We could do all of it together. It's confusing. It's almost Goa. It is Goa. It's like it's like a trance name, but a bad trance name. <laughs> Thank you.
just go to night versions, it would have been lunacy. Too many DJs had gone off and gone DJing around the world, but the band was in a time capsule as a rock band. Every time I see Dave or Steph, I think the first thing I say, before I even say hello, is Any Minute Now is a great record. And then they went and decided to ditch Any Minute Now and do a, a, a different version of the album. And um, I was just at least <laughs> Disappointed. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Night versions, to me, rocked as as hard as the rock band did. So wax because it's a live band, but it sounds like <laughs> punk, like <laughs> electronic, <laughs> possibly the best thing I've ever seen in my whole entire it life. Was it was Die It was Die beyond Die It's a lot like cocaine, but without the big ideas. One of them dared me to go on stage naked. I <laughs> said, oh, fuck it. He didn't think anything of it. It was just a throwaway comment. Go and make the dance record out of the gate would have been like, felt like you were just doing it because that's what you're supposed to do, like capitulating to the pressure of the new, the new success as a DJ duo in a dance world that in which in which dance and rock were no longer separate like they were when the Soul Wax record were made. Um, and then, uh, and then you know, like when the massive pressure of uh, making the Soul Wax album proper was released and the album came out, then be like, mm, want to make some remixes, night versions, in our own studio without that much pressure. And that was the way to bridge the gap. Whereas the hard way was <laughs> I remember that recording process. Hey, you want to go DJ in August? No, we're working on the record, but it's going to be done in one week. Okay, how about December? Hey, how you got, what's, what's going on? You want to come? I can't, man, the record's one more week. Uh, March next year, oh, so what do you guys do? Oh, record, one more week of the, it's just the little final touches. Oh, you know what, we hate, half the songs are scrapped. We got to redo them. Oh, God, that was, I hated watching that. Solwax started because we're big fans of Monster Magnet and Caius and all those things, masses of reality. That's why we started playing music. And somehow we were already interested in a lot of other things and it, it somehow came out of it. But that's where we come from. We toured it much against everyone's advice. Like we would do like support for Muse and all these bands for months. And I remember we would get really bored because at 11 o'clock the show was over. Oh, okay, cool, what do we do now? And most of the times we end up going to clubs and ask the DJs if we could take over because we didn't like what they were playing. And that's how we actually started playing, like started doing too many DJs. We really started from being on tour and being bored. Yeah. He cambiado al mundo con sus bootlegs imposibles. <laughs> too, too many DJs. <laughs> en directo. <laughs> Presentando además el álbum Night Versions de Soul Wax. Este 22 de noviembre en el Salón 21. Invitados especiales, no somos machos, pero somos muchos. Solax y Too Many DJs. Night Versions en directo. Una presentación al ritmo de... Des, des morceaux de l'album sont faits avec des sons qui nous ont donné euh, quand on a fait un remix pour eux, pour euh, New York Excuse, et qu'on leur a volé, et que d'autres gens nous volent maintenant, et c'est marrant de, comme les, les sons de batterie de... New York Excuse avec lesquels on a fait, euh, je sais pas, peut-être 10 morceaux avec, donc, euh, mm. donc, euh, donc ouais, au moins les, au moins les, les beats de Soul Wax sont dans l'album de Justice. <rires> They're just godfathers. Really? I mean, they're pioneers. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's. If there was a word that could combine pioneer and godfather. Then DJing with too many DJs sometimes, I think we did it so much that we were like, oh, we want to be the band again. And then we started being Soul Wax again. 
And then we started making night versions. And then like all of a sudden, everything fell into place. Like, we could do everything. DJ and play with the band and have our friends with us and do the whole night. And that is what I'm talking about. Tiger striped ice cream cone. Wax, when you sort of decided to start doing that? The blueprint for it is super simple. It's night versions as a band live and too many DJs as one of the headliner DJ slot. And everything in between is filled up with whatever band that we and love. One live band and then two other DJs who play in between all these things. And how did you find being the promoters sort of thing? It was hard on Dave and me because you're there from the first band and first DJ. Because you invite the people, so you try and do the effort to be there also. But you also have to be there for the sound check and everything else. And then you would play with night versions, then you would go come off. And too many DJs is always the end of the night. So we would have to DJ again then. And then everybody else in the tour would go crazy. So we would be like the sound check for their like decadent lifestyle. lifestyle. It's kind of fun, but it's tiring because it would mean that you would stop at four in the morning and be like, like, wow, I've been here from like six. <laughs> it's been like, wow, this is a... And then it's up to the next city and you do it again and you do it again.
sorry to interrupt. I like to say um, I've been like in the business and uh, in the electro for more than 15 years now. Sorry. This is Steph when he DJs. And this is Dave. So it's like sine and cosine. <laughs> I think Steph's taste drives a lot of it, which ultimately, which I've kind of like come to realise is, is pretty much a producer's role, you know, very much so. As, you know, and Dave, Dave's ability with machines and also taste as well is, uh, is fantastic, you know. They'll be the first to uh, criticize each other, you know, the other, but if there's somebody else, um, you know, threatening them or, you know, having conflict with them, then they'll be the first to defend their brother. And I don't think that either of them could survive without the other. They put the bottle down on the table and it popped out and it's right in his eye. Right in my eye. But I think if you are the boyfriend of one, you gotta deal with the others too, so it doesn't make too much of a difference. This guy's like sausage, right? Like meat in the big grinder music. Like it's sausage. Oh, it's, yeah, yeah, let's try this. Or let's mic these drums. Or oh, we can do this. And like left to his own devices, it, it can. I mean, it's kind of a never-ending flow, you know? And Steph kind of comes in and... Cha -ching, cha -ching. It slices the sausage and ties it in a knot. And there you have a sausage. Before that, it was just a long tube of meat. <laughs> Good night, you've been great. Now, we have a, a, a little present for you. Oh, sorry, sorry. Well, you're gonna see on the, on the monitor what you have for you. Boy, boy, boy. Uh, they want your aerograph after the show. I'm gonna put that button. Nice. Okay, ahí tenemos. This is the present for so you. Back. Un besito, un besito a la cámara. Chicas por ahí. Eso, eso. Do you like that kind of girls? Um, are they no good? Much. Can they cook? Ellas, sí, sí, yeah, they, they, she, she can cook. Probably peanut butter sandwich, something like That's that. But he can do, he, he can do something else really so much I'm, better. I'm a, I'm a little bit afraid of them, though. <laughs> Thank you very much for being here. It's Thank a pleasure you, to have you here. Thanks, yeah. Y ya lo saben, carnales, cáiganle mañana. Allá el Salón 21, Soul Wax y Tumen y DJs desde Bélgica. Esto fue Calibre 45. Ahí nos vemos. Chao. Uno, fe. James Brown is dead. Dans les duos, il y a toujours un agité et un calme. Et voilà, et je pense que Dave est, est le calme et, et Steph l'agité. Well, they're brothers, so they have exactly the same. They have a, there's one taste, and then they can just fight endlessly about it. Like in other words, I, I should be a t-shirt. Well, no, it's true. <laughs> like you dudes, it took me a while to figure you guys out because like on the on the surface you seem wildly different, and then I realized like you're wildly different only because you just fill in the gap that the other one leaves. So if one of you isn't really upset, the other one's gonna be like, what's the big deal? Exactly. <laughs> and, and if one of you is like, mm -hmm. like, if one of you thinks that something's really good, you'll think the other one will think it's overrated. I figured that out walking through Ghent, which is where it all gets magnified. And <laughs> you were really stressed out about something with the, with the record. Like you were like, something was just not good enough. And Steph was like, Dave's getting so upset about this. And she's like, we need to finish it. And you know, like, it was this long kind of like, you know, thing about like, you know, oh, Dave, just don't worry about it. And I don't know why, I don't care, you know, like it's fine. <laughs> and then we were walking from the bed and breakfast. And I'm walking with Dave, we were talking about things and S Steph is slightly behind us and Dave and I are coming and going, walking ahead and we're taking a slight turn and Steph got, why, why would you go this way? What's wrong with you? And David suddenly like, I just, I'm just turning. I just, I just is where I naturally went. I didn't know there was a right way. You know, there's a, ah! Oh! And you were so mad and it went on for the whole walk back. 
And it suddenly clocked. I was like, you guys just flipped positions. You walked out of the studio and you took over the upset guy and you took over the unrough flappable guy. And um, something else with something else. It's not real okay. taste. It's not like you guys differ that much, but I think it's just like to keep it. I mean, otherwise, what would you do to sit there and be like, yeah. If this ends up in the movie, then it's a really boring movie. <laughs> We might be struggling for materials there. I'm sorry it's come to this, that we have to use this. If we are using this, I'm sorry that it came to this. We've been home one out of six weeks. I, I think a lot of our friends have given up trying to keep up with where we are. Like a really uh, massive strength of, of of the tour has always been that everybody knows each other and everyone's a fan of each other as well. To the degree. at least I like to I like to think so. But it wasn't a scene. It was just sort of like 
it just sort of like it was kind of coincidental that all of us were like kind of really emerging at the same time and it just so happened that we you know we all had really similar tastes in music and we met each other and we all became friends and and I think that was it too like we made efforts to actually do things together why can't you say scene though what's wrong with scene it is a scene I mean it wasn't a scene the way that like you know everyone lived in the same city but we lived in this other city I mean, we all lived in a different city, which was the city of seeing the same people no matter what country or continent we're on. It's a bit like a family that grows up, grows up, grows up, and that travels, that travels all over the world. I think that Radio Solvac is becoming a culture now. Honestly, I don't know how, how it happens, how physically, how a human being can withstand so much touring and performing um, every night, night after night, for years on end. It's, it's pretty remarkable. To kind of do five live shows and then, you know, put a different hat on and go out and be a DJ afterwards, I, you know, I. I, I, I can't imagine what that would have been like. I do kind of like, I think it must have knocked seven shades of shit out of them doing it every night for how long they did it for. Tell us a bit about your father, man. Um, he was, um, I think, 67, he started DJing. We grew up amongst thousands of records, which is, which is, which is good. Yeah. I, I got to spend a lot of time in, in my dad's collection and all the valuable things are all stolen by me now. Correct. Say something about Stefan. I don't know. He's so quiet, Stefan. He's like, uh, in a way, he's kind of like like the third Dawala brother, but the silent one. And he does a lot of he does a lot of work in the studio with them, like on the computer programming and stuff. But he never speaks. Which would be your Favorite band named in the song, or just to name one one band, it's, it's torture. Say it, Yellow. <laughs> no, that's just one of the bands I'm not, not really into. <laughs> You're not really into Yellow. Uh, I like How can you not songs. like Yellow? No, I can't get it out of my. Yeah. Come on, don't bring me down. Nothing. Uh, the drummers always take things to the next level. Evil woman. Evil yeah. woman. Ding 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 ding. I can't get it out of my head. Oh, that's all you need. Welcome, drum break. My friend from New York is sending me a text. Hey, I'm in. I'm in bed with Baker. This girl that we both like. Was it like there was a, a, a nad where someone said we need a we oh. need a drummer? <laughs> they were like, can you drink? Taste that. Taste that. That's sunshine in a glass. Uh -huh. Can you do drugs? Okay, good point. What do about? Do you like to dance? How about girls? What would you do in a situation in a bathroom with a female presenter from Mexico? Aha, okay. Uh... The Mux. Oh, Canada. Oh, glorious maple leaf.
that's such a weird place because on the one hand, like you guys are like, you know, you're in a city, so there's you, know, you can go see art, you can buy, you know, there's designers go there, record stores that buy records from all over the world. Okay, right. But on the other hand, you might as well be in a tiny little town that you grew up in where you guys were the football stars. Mm -hmm. You know, like you're kind of halftime heroes there. It's like you're kind of like, remember me when I got that big pass in 1988, <laughs> won the whole state championships. That's right, baby. It's like, and, you know, yeah, so it's, no, it's kind of, so it's a weird, I think it's a weird place to be from for an American. You want to go to the hotel? Uh, yeah. The kids did not say nothing to that guy. That guy walked past and started telling them things. If you're underage and you're homeless, you arrested for, from just right there. See what they're doing hanging on the streets? That's against the law to hang out. The goal is a free country. What the fuck free about it? Go outside and get caught without your fucking ID and see how free you are. Four people can play the deluxe version. I'm in it, I'm in it. Nobody. The world. I'm just following Slow X around, man. I have to. I will punch you down and kill you. When I get out of jail. <laughs> What's your name? John. Oh, the naked gun. The naked gun. I know you're jaded because you're an artist. You've been here a thousand times, but I haven't. Oh, that's so pretty. Move. I'm gonna kick everybody out. You've got 12 band members on there? Uh, and who are the rest of the people on there? We're going to keep all the passports here and we're going to have a look around.
euh, de remix, vous avez remixé euh, tous les grands de ce monde, tous les grands électro, euh, Kili Minogue, Justice, Daft Punk. Comment vous choisissez vos artistes Uh, no, 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 I don't want to talk about that because I'm really mad and pissed off that guys because they are not finished with the fucking remix for us and they did a fucking remix for Justice. So X remixes, right, drums always go <laughs> Always. <laughs> Tu vois, c'est ce, ce bruit vraiment désagréable ouais, qui fait mal à la tête, quoi. Mais en même temps, c'est vraiment le... le... Ouais, comment ça s'appelle cette machine là, pour creuser les dents <rire> qui fait mal Juste, c'est l'horreur figured out that I, you have to play it at the end so that that long annoying pause which for me is so obnoxious like I would never do that Just the other night, I finally nailed it. Like, every set I was playing it, and kind of, first of all, the break's great, because promoters, everyone looks at you like, so to screw up, like, sister and I, you're like, no. We're just, it's like, shh, calm down, Mr. Promoter. Like, I got, so I've control, so it's all lax. Like, just, just cool your jets. No, but now I, I learned in Munich, I just played it late enough, so that when the break comes, it's believable that the night's over. So then it gives time for them to chant your name, time for them to throw things at you, cheer, lights go on, everything. You just like totally, it's relaxing. You just sit back and like start putting away my records, shake a few hands. I think every DJ should be forced to be in a punk band for a year. Because DJing next to video game tester might be the most ridiculous, simplest, easiest, most overpaid job on the planet. Excuse me. Hi, hey, we have an artist parking pass for playing. Yeah, it's straight on. It's an artist, artist, artist pass. I think before too many DJs existed, um, I didn't really care about dance music or DJing or that whole culture and um, I think I think what they did is they kind of helped help people who more you know used to playing in bands and stuff to, to get into dance music and, and realize and realize that you know dance music can be interesting and just as exciting as as pop prog rock or any other genre or new rave absolutely insane upside down people going like just having to scrape people from the walls and from the ceilings and from the floors. Oh, okay. Okay, wait. I'll do it. Uh -huh. Let me just get out for a sec, yeah? Okay. Oh. They kind of destroy it, you know, a lot of the time they really... For, for many years I didn't even want to play after them, it was annoying. You know? I didn't want to... It's true. I don't know exactly how to build a groove after Blur mixed with Ace of Spades with, like, Aretha Franklin on top. But, uh, yeah, they made the job for all the boring guys harder. It was like a, uh, 
deeply bizarre like stadium rock concert DJ set like people went it was like there's 8,000 people here I don't know how you would DJ to 8,000 people who just watched a band everybody went crazy and I was really psyched about it and I was really like I get this like this is like this is fucking nuts took a picture of uh, of me in the crowd uh, screaming and jumping and I think it's uh, really uh, an image of the the power the uh, Dave and Steph can uh, throw at the at the audience when they are DJing <laughs> Let it with it. 
this, can't you? No. And it's always a good stunt when, um, you know, somehow, inevitably, something goes wrong, like the power goes out, or the promoter gets angry and turns the sound off, or, you know, there's always some incident and the, the music just stops for a couple minutes and there's, you know, like this, this pregnant pause, there's tension. Are they going to go on or not? Is this it? Are they going to finish? And then the music starts up again and then the crowd just goes crazy and like tearing their eyeballs out and like pulling out their hair and like punching each other in the face. And you know, it's, it's a good trick. It's a good trick. <laughs> Naked, but once you're naked, what do I do now? There was a cocktail bar with some chocolate sauce and strawberry sauce. Covered in this crap. And I just jumped into, into the crowd and just... I just remember this one, you know, I, just, I feel so sorry for this girl. She must have been no, like, older than 14. I just remember losing my balance and then, like, I got up and, like, and then, like, my cock was just banging against her face and she was, she was so traumatized. Like, she, she was like, she was about this, but she was so small. <laughs>
over and over again. He's getting better and better. And then he calls you, like, I heard about it. It was so awesome. And then he realized, in the middle of the conversation, that he would be so fucked if he tried to do it. And it was just like, and he was like, oh, I'll find a way. And then, because Sean called me while he was on hold. Fucking dance when I, I brought up to Mexico like four years ago, and they were playing remixes of like a hip hop song that nobody would ever dare to do. Everybody started to dance. Yes, but <laughs> uh, we should re re rephrase the question which guy in the band have you fucked? <laughs> this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. This one. Solwax was still touring, and still touring, and they're still touring. It's never ending. excuse I hate that song I hate the sound of that song and every time I'm someplace and I can hear the beginning my skin starts to crawl and I, I can't I have to get away um, but it, but the, the story behind it is very um, sweet and clever they had a song that just had uh, it was just instrumental and and Steph had this idea of having a female vocal on it. I was living in New York, and he was living in Belgium, but recording in London, so we just didn't get to see each other very much. Um, so the song was an excuse for him to fly to New York, paid for by the labels, so that we could see each other. And then we did the song, we recorded at Plantain with James Murphy. Steph's there, I'm there, got some time off, got a studio, Nancy's there, got a mic set up. Checked in, and I've got the compressor, preamp. How do we do? Yeah, and then we came up, you know, with the lyrics. Um, this is the excuse that we're making. Is it good enough for what you pay? And that's what it means, that's where it comes from.